wonderful viewers my name is Ikuya Odrowa Obey Yabwa and you are welcome with another time with inspirational moments with AOOI if you haven't yet clicked on the subscribe button don't forget to click on the subscribe button and like the video today we'll talk about life in general looking at the perspective of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 downwards this week, I was, I was speaking over the weekend, long holiday, and Christmas. Few words drop into my mind. I realized that life indeed is generally a gift, and we can learn a lot from the book of Ecclesiastes. So stay tuned and let's delve into what I learned over the weekend. Life is a gift. Though it might sound as a cliche, Deep down within us, we know that this is the ultimate truth. We did not create ourselves, and after all, what do we have that we didn't receive? Though life is full of hardship, it is also full of beauty if we have eyes to see. After experiencing all the world had to offer in terms of opulent luxuries and worldly pleasures, Solomon emphasized that simple things as the things that we see bring real joy under the sun, which is to show how we are supposed to live in our earthly life. He mentions that family life, food, drink, and honest work are aspects of life that can give us satisfaction in temporal sense. As we live out our lives on earth, but we don't have to put our hope in them and expect them to give us lasting fulfillment, but we can thank God for them and enjoy them as good gifts, knowing that whether it's good or perfect, it's a gift that comes down to us from God our Father. Solomon had all I found in the end that there's only one thing that is so important, which is our relationship with God, characterized by our true obedience to Him. Pursued as means of ultimate happiness, everything else in the world ends in futility. But when God is the center of it all, all His all of his gifts come into proper perspective and is able to help us enjoy. While we may not fully understand the meaning of all that life has to present to us here on earth, we can trust God that he has the full wisdom, even if our personal wisdoms fall short. The wisdom within Ecclesiastes forces us to look in the mirror and truly analyze our motive for the things we pursue in this life. Whether it be our careers, pleasures, wealth, someone wants us to know that the pursuit of sad things is like striving after the wind, meaning that they are fleeting and fruitless. Why is that? Because God has put eternity in our heart. And nothing less than eternal satisfaction is what will be enough for us. Thankfully also, Solomon offers us solutions. We can find meaning and goodness in knowing God because everything he does works for his glory. Well, we may also decide to find out why we are living in this world. But the ultimate joy and satisfaction is only found in God. Those that are wise heed for the wisdoms that is found in the book of Ecclesiastes and order their life accordingly. Our relationship with God becomes the source of all our joy and enables us to freely enjoy the rest without relying on them for ultimate satisfaction. As we go along our day today, let's ask ourselves, when we consider how we spend our time, energy, money, 
Where are we hoping to find meaning and the purpose for our life? Thanks for watching and do have a blessed day. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell button so you receive notification anytime videos are uploaded. Ciao, see you next time. Bye.